Has this ever happened to you? You've got a fab asset, you're excited to use it, you pull it out into the world to check it, and it's too big or it's too small. Well, we're going to fix it. And we're not going to leave Unreal Engine to do it. So, pull your asset out into the world, you start your mesh, go to the modeling tool in the top, so selection, drop it down to modeling, go to X form, go to transform, and in here, rather than one, we're just going to make it 0 0.01 is what this door size will be yours may be 0.1 or whatever different size you might want but this door is 0.01 we're going to click complete and then we're going to bake the transform remember to bake it because i will actually change all of the messages so not just this one in the world that will hard code this if you want it in the current folder you can overwrite the current asset in there if you want the old asset and a new asset, you can move it to an auto gen folder. It, this way changes it for all time. So now if I want this, I can just drag this out and I've got all the doors that I want in the world and they remember their scale. Pull out another one and go to transform again. We can see that this size is actually its new value of one. So you can also use this to make things bigger, not just smaller. So here I have a propeller which is too small, there we go, 10, like that. So now, rather than having this tiny propeller, we've got this big propeller. If I can complete, bake the transform to change all of them. Then all of them change as well. So now if I was going to spawn a door, it would be the correct size. We can come to our test BP. We've got a static mesh in there already, and we can change the scale of the static mesh, like so. And now, if I pull our test BP out into the world, it does the same thing. Now, if I spawn the test BP, it remembers its size. But if I want to change the static mesh's transform, or rotation, or location, all of this matches this, like so. But now if I do it, it resets its scale, which is not what we want. So rather than having to remember the scale of each of your static meshes inside your blueprints, it's much easier to change them in the modeling tool and have them all be a uniform one value.